Under most circumstances, when you experience a traumatic event, there's a resilient part of you that is able to put that traumatic memory or that event in your brain and code it as a memory that occurred. You're never really going to feel that great about it. It's never going to be pleasant, but it's filed away as a distinct memory and it's in the past. For someone who experiences or develops PTSD, that process is a bit different. What happens is the nervous system in that moment never turns off. And so in the future, when you experience something that is similar or triggers that memory, it's really hard for the brain to determine whether this event happened in the past or if it's occurring now. For someone with PTSD, it feels like that event is always happening to them. Say for example, you're a victim of sexual assault. If you go outside at night, you might find yourself getting triggered. You might have memories of the past trauma come back to you. You might feel the trauma is imminent or even happening to you again. What we hope to achieve through EMDR is to have you be able to walk outside at night again without that fear response overtaking you and overwhelming you. So you'll know the difference. You'll know that what happened to you was in the past and not happening to you in real time.